Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video today. Looking at the version update that um, we're going to be getting <laughs> on uh, 6.23, which was kind of surprising because I feel like we just had a version update. Um, so that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like, comment, tell me about how you feel about the version update, and let's get into it. And subscribe to me if you want some more videos by me. Okay, so let's see. Uh, so obviously this always means that we're going to be getting another Tenfold Summon, right? Come on! Hell yeah, Tenfold Summon Voucher, thank you very much. Uh, will be distributed automatically. Got it. Smooth out- okay, so update details. Smooth out the edges with anti-aliasing. Anti-aliasing will be enabled, enabled in the game setting to smooth out jagged edges on 3D models and improve overall performance of games graphics. Please note that this feature cannot be enabled on the iPad 4 Mini 4 or the iPad Air 2. Uh, if I'm being 100% honest with you, as someone who is uh, not the greatest when telling the difference between some some stuff, I don't know what the hell the difference between these two Uidens are. <laughs> they look exactly the goddamn same to me. Um. But good on people who want anti-aliasing, I guess? You never see these characters, <laughs> except for the back of them, so... Uh, maybe it'll, it'll mean more when you see the big dragons or something. But, hey. Not again. Not a knock against the people who like anti-aliasing, I guess. But to me, same thing. And I'm pretty sure there's still people that play this on the most basic of graphic settings. But whatever, for the people who want the highest uh, thing to burn their phone through. They can do this. So let's see. Next, keep track of trials of the uh, trials with ease. The trials of the mighty schedule will be available directly from the trials of the mighty quest screen, allowing easier access to important information. Why didn't this launch with this? Is this the no? Because obviously some stuff launched and we didn't have the schedule back then. Or has the schedule always been a thing that's been in the game? To be honest. I've been playing Dragalia so long, I can't remember if the schedule was there from the beginning. Because uh, I know Void Battles were very similar, where Void Battles, the scheduling got really out of control until they just said, screw it, they're always open. Um, I can't believe we've actually gone so far back in time that we're slowly getting this problem again. That's kind of crazy to me. I mean, good. Nah, I would like to see the scheduling. This guy, this is obviously very good. This is very nice. It's just weird. I just find it very weird. That's all. That's just me. Um, next, enjoy an improved battle experience. Oh god. Sorry about that. My uh, Fugo Nero video did very well, so I've been getting non-stop bombarded with comments. <laughs> so sometimes it'll just pop up into videos, so I apologize for that. Uh, the gameplay experience during battles will be proved as follows. More powerful attacks will cause the camera to shake more violently. Players who find this distracting can disable camera shake in the game settings. Enemies will be knocked back based on the direction that the player is facing instead of the direction that they are facing. When the attack connects... Okay, so that means where I'm facing is where... Okay, so that means I'll actually be knocked back as opposed to... Huh. Okay. The visual effect that is displayed when- I'm trying to think of the amount of times I've, I've knocked back an enemy, and I want to say it's zero. I don't think I've ever actually- that's what- that was that slight pause, I'm like, wait a minute. When have I ever knocked back anything? I can't really recall. Um, the visual effect that displayed when an enemy connects with based on attack strength when Punisher type abilities connect, this effect will be shown in black. Unique effects such as over damage will be given priority when attempting to display multiple effects at once. Okay, cool. Sounds very nice. I'm interested to see how the camera shake will be, but similar to the anti-aliasing, I feel like there's a lot of people who play this these specific, maybe it's just specifically the people who are like super grind heavy and that's actually not the majority. I need to remember that the majority of the game, which are the people who will like put the graphics the lowest, beat everything the first hour it's released, that's actually not the main demographic of the game. And it's actually like 98% super casual and 2% the rest of us, so... Need to remember that. 
Oh, it's probably not that big. It's, it didn't used to be that big, but uh, over time it certainly has changed. Quality of life improvements. Oh wait, no, other changes. The summon animations for certain dragons will be adjusted. I actually checked. There are 120 dragons in this game. Um, not all of them summonable. You can't just say certain dragons will be adjusted, Dragalia. You need to tell us which dragons. Or maybe more specifically, just tell us which dragons are not being adjusted. I'm trying to figure out if, if what fucking dragons got the slight animation update. I don't... Uh, sure. Interested to see what that means. I'm all for cool summon animations. It's just that it feels weird to give it to random dragons. The user interface will be adjusted in various places. Cool quality of life improvements. If an adventurous dragon drive gauge becomes empty while they are using a skill using dragon drive, dragon drive, dragon drive will be deactivated after the skill is finished. Cool. Issues addressed. Ordinarily, a single adventurer is not able to equip two worm prints of the same name at the same time. However, it has come to our attention that worm prints that drop from Rise of the Sensor Dominion quest with the same name but different affinities can be equipped on a single adventurer at the same time, granting the stats, abilities, and affinity bonuses of both. This behavior is not intended. After updating the version 2.9.0, players will not be able to embark on a quest of two Rise of the Sensor Dominion worm prints of the same name are equipped on an adventure on the team, such worm prints will be automatically unequipped during maintenance around 6.24. Sure. While well, playing- I, I didn't know that that was a thing. I don't know if people were abusing that and that was what made them go, hey, stop that. But, uh, I mean, it's not really abusing. The reason people are doing it is because, you know, Rise of the Sinister Dominion is kind of early on, so some people are just trying to save some time. I guess is that's my theory of it anyway. Maybe they never intended it to be that way. While playing Ayako and Ohyo, I just came off of work. Give me, give me a break. On expert or legend difficulty, if Ayako, human form, is defeated under certain conditions while performing an attack that requires both Ayaha and Omaha to attack simultaneously, such as uh, uh, Nekomata, she will not transform into her beast form, and the game may freeze. So they're fixing that, that's very nice. While the display preference for mana circles is set to 2D, if the player selects an adventurer whose fourth mana circle has been fully unbound, then fully unbinds their fifth mana circle with voice lines that's supposed to play, but all the mana circles are fully unbound may not play. If the adventure child Ransel uses the swing of the for the fences skill while inspired, then uses the skill again, it will deal critical damage a second time. Is that an issue? Was that the issue that they're saying? Like, hey, yo. I really don't understand why they're coming after Child Ransel like that. Uh, but okay. Seems like a weird thing to be like, yo, out of all these adventurers, Child Ransel, you're getting too many crits, man. We know you're based off of crit damage completely, but come on. But maybe I, you know, to be fair, I don't have Child Ransel and I have no idea how you'd actually make him run and run him. Maybe this will make him better somehow. While well, playing uh, Jebediah's Piercing Gale on Master Difficulty in co-op, the connection to the game may be interrupted when uh, Jebediah's elemental uh, attunement changes. While well, playing Jebediah's Piercing Gale in co-op, the visual effects that appear when Jebediah uses Sacrificial Ceremony may not be displayed on guest devices. While playing Jebediah's Piercing Gale in co-op, Jebediah may behave unexpectedly if the connection from a guest device is interrupted when the certain um, performs a certain action. While playing Jebediah's Piercing Gale on standard or expert difficulty on co-op, certain attacks performed by the deceitful puppet summoned by Fallen Angel Gabriel may target the wrong adventurer. While playing Jebediah's Piercing Gale in co-op, Jebediah may, su <laughs> may suffer damage despite being protected by invincibility. While playing Jebediah's Piercing Gale on icon that indicates the which of Jebediah's attacks can be countered with the overdrive counter mechanic, may appear off-center, and Jebediah is of course the brand new Rise of the Sinister Dominion that is not Lilith. His real name is like J Jabadoif or something. It's very hard to pronounce, so I just went with Jebediah, so thank you very much. That's the end of today's video. That's kind of the update here. Uh, there's also going to be maintenance. Hopefully pretty soon we'll get the 1000 day notification, but I feel like there's a version update specifically because, like, yo, Let's get ready for the next thing. <laughs> so let's update real quick. 
very small update for sure, though. At least to me, it feels like there's like not a lot of. There's nothing here that like wows me. Um, I kind of want to see the what the battle experience stuff is, but it's kind of one of those things that feels like they added it because they're like, hey, we're adding this. Do you like it? It's like I don't know. You can turn it off. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Yeah, Dragalia devs. You, you fucking knocked it out of the park. But I'm excited to see what a thousand days for, and I will gladly take a tenfold for So obviously, any update that gives us a tenfold summon is a good update, so thank you very much to the hardworking devs. And that's the end of today's video, everyone. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Peace out!